As always, guys, like and share the video for us. It helps us out a bunch. And while you're at it, yes, tremendously. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button um, or the like button on the page, wherever it might be. I don't. Man. I'm not so good at telling you where <laughs> these buttons are, but you know. it's on there. Everybody knows how to work it. I'm yeah. sure you're all smarter than we are, probably. So, yeah, so we appreciate it. Right, guys we're gonna deal with ATMs tonight um, something that we went through with this video that you're seeing playing on the other side of your screen is a video that we went through one of our live shows um, but we wanted to get a little more in depth with this kind of stuff in our street smarts video series so backstory behind this and and what's really gonna happen this particular young lady is using an ATM at night um, and if you really watch her on your screen, you'll notice that she's not paying attention. There's going to be a, a fella approach her from her blind side, and this video is not going to end well. Um, the idea behind this is so that me and Ryan can go out and kind of show you different ways and talk about different ways to avoid this situation. As you can see, this guy's gonna walk into the camera view, use the ATM for cover, essentially, concealment, so she doesn't know, walk up with his cell phone, pull a gun out of his pocket, and point it right at her face. Um, it gets worse, he orders her out of the car, um, which we're gonna see in a minute. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the thing is, this, this could have been avoided had she used her mirror, um, and we don't want to blame her for this guy's actions, but... Oh, absolutely not. Um, if we could avoid this kind of stuff, we want to yeah. avoid it. If we, if we could get it into somebody's head to, 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 to do some things different, to avoid stuff like that, that's, that's really what we're right? shooting for here. And as you can but, see, he, he gets her out of the car and, and puts her in the trunk. Trunk of her own car. Of and her own car. Proceeds to check the parking lot. For anybody watching him, happens to, I guess he feels safe enough to jump in the car now and drive off with the young lady in the trunk. With her in her car, with all her money, with her purse. And the worst part about it is she's in the trunk. Yeah. So we're going to throw up a couple other videos of how easy this this is. Um, so we'll get right into those videos. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to start out with, uh, you know, driving up to an ATM. Um, and I want to turn the sound down on this a little bit because we really don't need to uh, <laughs> double the sound up on the video here. Yep. So, so um, it starts out any normal car ride up to an ATM machine. Um, and what I want you to notice as we're, as we're coming up to the ATM, and I'll pause it here for you for a second, you're gonna see where I'm standing, but it, it, I, was, I was driving and I come around the corner here and you can't see Jason back there at all. No. Um, and at this point, I was trying to look for you know blind spots, what, where somebody might be hiding. Um, it's just something that I always do. Um, and there was just no way to see him. And if you if you kind of really evaluate this ATM machine as you're as you're driving up, just kind of like the last one that we saw, um, I don't think the people who install these things really think about the safety of the users. Because just like the last one we saw in the the video where the young lady got stuffed in her trunk, um, but you're going to find out somebody can very easily hide behind this thing. And you're not even going to know they're there. And they could be there for a while because there's no lighting. No. The only lights you're seeing in the video right now are, are, are from my vehicle and from the, the advertisement glow of the front side of the, Certainly. the ATM. There's so, no lighting around it at all. As we, as we roll up to this ATM, right, you can see there's, like, you don't see anything. No. You're completely okay. blocked from 90% of the view, you know, 
you can see the bank and you can see the guy's house that lives on the other side but that yeah. whole backyard area is just blind to you and and now we're going to skip to my view of playing the bad guy in this particular juncture right you can you can see him turn the corner come down I, i'm waiting for him to to roll up to the atm and at this point i can't see jason yeah i mean look at the last video you you, you can't see me standing back there um he rolls up to the atm and i just nonchalantly head around the corner pause it for me jay here's one thing i wanted to point out about this i did this on purpose when i pulled up is I, this, this area between the ATM machine and, and my vehicle, um, if you close that up a little bit, I, I see a lot of people pull this far away and then they have to open the door and, and lean out like yeah, I'm doing certainly. here. Um, I know you don't want to scratch your vehicle. I, I get that. Um, you certainly don't want to pay for the ATM machine if you hit it or something along those lines, but closing that gap up and making sure somebody doesn't have the, the, the room to walk in Right. like Jason will here you'll see yeah but he's able to just walk right up to me I guess having a drunk bump on your uh, yeah car is a little better than <laughs> yeah you know the alternative as we just saw and if you look I mean a lot of these ATMs are set up to where your wheel will hit the curb before you will hit the machine yeah um, so a scuffed up tire is better than having the room for somebody to come in and yank you out of your vehicle certainly and what I want you to guys to notice is Ryan's not looking behind him so no, I no. walk right up right there I yep. mean I'm arm's reach from him um, so like there's at, at this point in time you're pretty much at whoever's mercy is right there you there's not a whole lot you can do you got a hold of the door you got an open window somebody pulls a gun a knife whatever mm -hmm. um, you know there's there's just a, a ton of bad going on here and just a little bit is going to change the whole dynamic of this entire situation well just like i was saying so i've got my door open to lean out i didn't want to bump the machine um but what's that do that changes the angle of my rear view mirror if you look in that mirror from my vantage point at that at that point in time all i can see is the machine the mirror's turned it's looking right at the machine so i couldn't even use my mirror to watch what was behind me he come in from my left so i couldn't use my rear view mirror I wasn't watching this direction behind me and yeah he was able to just walk right up to me yeah so I've got a duplicate movie here where we're going to change some things yes we're gonna do it a little bit different um, I'm gonna utilize some of the um, as yeah. soon as I find it here. <laughs> yeah, we'll utilize some of the detect, deter, and to defend, you know, some of the points we talked about in the previous video. So, here's the same idea, right? I'm, ready to go. I'm behind the ATM. I'm going to approach the car. And I'm using all the same. Hey, man, what are you doing? This time, I pulled up a little bit closer. Um, I was using my mirrors. I wasn't leaning out the door. I was paying attention to what I was doing. Um, I was able to spot him in the mirror, look back, say, hey, man, what's going on? What are you doing? And it, I, was, it was literally that simple. The use of one device, a mirror, yep. stopped the whole situation. Um, it, unfortunately, we're never going to know what happened to that young woman because that's all the information we got on this video. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the poor girl. Um, but hopefully that, she was okay, but, you know, hopefully. It, had she been able to, you know, she had enough time. If she seen that guy coming up behind her, she may have lost some money or maybe her bank card. But had she seen him, she could have got her window up, her doors locked. And when she realized he was a real threat, she could have drove away maybe. Yeah. Um, well, same thing you could have done. I mean... Oh yeah. With with me approaching you from the from that blind side, all it would have taken for you to essentially defend against that situation is to step on the gas pedal and drive away. Right. Um Yeah, I mean most criminals aren't gonna start taking pop shots at somebody across yeah. a parking lot. Um on top of that you're 
you're in the vehicle, so you've got at least some kind of concealment. He's got to figure it out. You're at night. Distance is your friend. You get a, get away farther. There's a there's a ton of good to just dropping it in gear and driving away. Right. Absolutely. So, you know, look behind you. Look mm -hmm. at the situation in totality. Um, I think this is your bank. I think you use that ATM. Bank. I do. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and you know, it seems like such a mundane, just you know day-to-day -day action to just run to the ATM real quick but that's when they get you that's 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 the that's the times that certainly that, that bad things happen and you know? what I can tell you um, you know I've done enough traveling to know that um, if this ATM is in an unfamiliar area and I'm looking at my cell phone GPS I'm looking at a map we got a car full of people I'm towing a camper, um, you know, big dead giveaway, tourist, right? <laughs> I'm probably not going to use this particular ATM, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to go find some place where I can park in a well-lit area, maybe walk inside of a, a mall that's got that particular bank or something like that. Yeah, that $3.50 charge that you get at the gas station ATMs, Yeah. it's a lot better to take that charge than have something happen like this poor girl, ha you know. Yeah, so I, I guess what we're getting at is use them three Ds, detect, deter, and defend. Um, and if that means avoiding the entire thing, using a different ATM, using a different gas station, um, um, that's what it's all about. This particular ATM, um, you can drive around the bank and come in from the back side of it and, and look at the area before you use it. Yeah. You know, something as simple as that. You know, you come around the back side of the bank and there's some guy sitting in the weeds or in the bushes back there. Eh, yeah. I don't I don't need that twenty bucks so bad right now. No, you know? right? So I guess I'll sweat my card. So yeah. what we're getting at guys is use your three Ds. Detect a turd offend. Um every situation is gonna be different. We can't give you examples that's gonna cover everything that you're gonna run into in your daily lives, but use them three principles to your advantage and Stay safe out there. Yep.